Hello everyone and welcome to an index catalogue, Spring Summer 1992. Check the index as it says down here. Now I just want to go through this online catalogue, I think I got this on eBay uh, several years ago on like a CD-ROM, do you remember them? And 92 is coming near the end of summer so I thought we'd check out a catalogue from some, what is this, 14 years ago, 14 years ago? 24 years ago. Good God. So, Index, it was a sort of a competitor to Argos, a high street consumerism shop which sold loads of stuff like this Sony Sports Walkman and Kettles and more multi trim fly mills. And we had lots of different fonts like Leisure, DIY, Audio, many things. Toys in a very Toy Master style. Oh, look, here's all the pages. Woo, Lord Mowers! Oh god, where am I? Oh god, what page am I on? Uh, let's get back to the... Oh god, what's happening? Right, back to the start. Here we go. Right, so... Let's go through this catalogue and see what we have. I think it's probably the best course of action. So, on uh, this page we have the index catalogue shop. Shop? Shop? What the hell is a shop? Okay, we've got some nice patio wear here, particularly 90s. Look at this, this is all very 90s. A tent on the beach, someone laying down. Oh, we've got these strimmers. I don't know why I'm excited about strimmers. That's very strange. Hover mower. Yeah, I mean, is this the sort of thing you'd go down to your local high street to get? A massive petrol lawn mower? I think some of these things had to be ordered in. I mean, you wouldn't go down to your high street and get a metal shed in five sizes, would you? And just lug that back to the car. Or a gym. I love these catalogs. They sold everything. This was like a go-to. Look at that. Iowa personal stereo radio cassette player. Radical. Water and impact resistant. Vertical in the ear headphones. 69 quid. My God. She's jumping quite high, isn't she? Yeah, it's. A, oh God, I keep going to different pages. I need to work out how to navigate this a bit better. Let's just. Let's go. Oh God, where am I going? Let's go back to where I was. I was... There we go. That's what I want. Look at these rucksacks. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Golf clubs. Yeah, you could get everything from here. And this was like a sort of go-to destination for your Christmas list for Father Christmas, wasn't it? Let's go and open an index catalogue. Got a hammer drill. Drills haven't changed very much. These budget doors. I, I didn't even realise those things were still around in the 90s. That looks very sort of 70s to my eye. Tools? Ah! Bead cushion for your car! Keeps you cool and comfortable, reduces fatigue, even on long journeys. That is what you want, isn't it? That's what you find in most stereotypical taxi cabs. They have to be stereotypical ta taxi cabs, of course. Oh my word, I keep doing this. I can't remember where I was. I've been past golf clubs, haven't I? Let's go back here. No, we're back here again. Look at that. Balls. Tents. Very low tent. Can't, oh, look at that. That's claustrophobic. Look at that luggage. Exceptional value. I wonder why. Oh, this is all very 90s luggage. We've done drills. Let's get past drills. We've done tools. VHS. Remote control alarms. Look at that. You could record it on videotape. What have we got down here? Disc man with car kit. Car connecting pack, car battery cord, 179 quid. It's amazing, but most of these things are just available on our phones now, isn't it? All in one unit, all these separate things. We've got car stereos with tape players. What have we got? Uh, Pi, Goodman's. Fairly cheap brands here. Goodman's is uh, quite a cheap. Crown was always a classic of these magazines, quite cheap. Cascade, never even heard of that. We've got these crappy speakers. I used to have a pair of these connected up to my 486 PC. Tinny as hell, but as you can see, quite cheap. Look at the wide range of Walkmans. Walkmans a brand name, isn't it? It's a portable cassette player. Sanyo with a built-in radio. Some of these have got super bass, auto reverse, Dolby B. Battery operated, I would hope so. Super loudness, that one's got, whatever that means. Wow. And all these headphones are, of course, over the head ones, which was the kind of case. Then. I remember this one. 
Sports Warping. I believe that's water resistant. Solar powered? Good God. Pretty advanced. We've got a pack of tapes here. We've got some headphones. Oh, ferric cassettes, chrome cassettes, £6.50. Radio wake up alarm clocks. Oh, let's look at the stereos. Look at this thing. This is Iowa pick up and carry 20 watts PMPO. These boombox ones. We've got Philips crown. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, my brother used to have one like this. I was very envious. It was a bit like this Philips, but it was an Iowa one. But they. I've always wanted one of them. Could output some serious sound. Vidor batteries. Oh, here we go. We've got these sort of uh, MIDI, mini built-in components. They look, they're supposed to look like separate components, are they? Aren't they? With these separate bits, but they're just one big chunk of cheapness. Uh, Dain Ichi Cascade Crown Samsung Akai. We've got more of the mini systems over here. CD. I could spend hours just looking at these systems when I was younger. Just, I don't know, just looking at these panels. Look at this with all these equalizers, and that's a crappy little display. But some of them had like graphic equalizers. Not these ones, mind. These are all a bit ropey by the look of it. Goodman's twin. There we go. We've got these separates here. We've got twin cassette deck. Goodman's stack you could build yourself. You have an amplifier, have a pair of speakers. For what? 80 quid for a cassette, 100 quid for the CD player amplifier. You know, so what? 400 odd quid you could have a oh, equalizer as well. 500 quid you could have an almost decent Goodman's separate unit. Possibly. Goodman's isn't obviously the best brand, but there we go. Keyboards. Oh, she is loving that karaoke, isn't she? There we go. TVs, Orion, 14 inch, wake up to breakfast TV, £399, sleep off timer allowing you to program the TV to switch off, as if you were watching a film and you, know, you were at risk of falling asleep so that it went off by itself, never really used one myself, Hitachi here, look at that, that's futuristic, this Philips one, looks like a space helmet. Didn't see many of those about. Has it got wheels on the back? It's like a little Henry Hoover. Amazing. We've got black and white ones here. Clive Sinclair would be proud. Well, he wouldn't because his TVs were far smaller. They are quite hefty lumps in comparison to what he did. Television stand. We've got a little 10 inch Samsung over here. Stop press. Improved TV reception with the latest signal booster. Never really worked, did they? Video recorders. Look at this twin deck bush one. Look how big that is. Double deck so you can record from tape to tape. Proper pirating factory going on there. Look at that remote control. Record one channel whilst playing another. 20 hour record and playback. Record two channels at the same time. Must have had two different tuners. That is amazing. Samsung, Orion, goodbye. £7.49 for a pack of three E195 VHS cassettes. Cameras, 35mm cameras. I wonder if there's any 110. Yep, yeah, here's some 110 film cameras. This was the type of film that you put in these cameras. 110 was like a little uh, slab with two round bits on either side. It was like a solid case that you just whacked in and they gave you 24 pictures, I think, and 35 mils gave you. It was like a stream of tape you pulled out from a cylinder and they gave you more pictures, you could have 34 or something. Imagine being limited to 24 or 34 pictures on a camera with our current digital technology. And you had to log these things about as well, they weren't sm small. We've got SLR, £99, well, as that must be for the lens. It's a bit cheap for an SLR, isn't it? SLR. Well, it's cheap. Cosina. That's probably why. Never really heard of Cosina. Got some sunglasses. Got some binoculars. Ke look at these kettles. Russell Hobbs country style. That is delightful. With that. Oh, what does that say? Crappy style there. Looks like some sort of reeds or something. Nice. Stainless steel. Exceptional value. £13.99. Toast. Oh yeah, tea's made. I had one of. Is that, you can put a picture in it. 
So if, uh, every time you wake up, you see a lovely pitcher and get a cup of tea, but then you have no milk to put in it because that was downstairs in the fridge. So what the hell is the point? Oh, I've missed all the... Oh, I've gone off the wire again. Let's have a look. We've got microwave ovens here. We've got hoovers. Let's see if we can find something interesting. There's a vax over there. Pots and pans. Exceptional value furniture. Fireplaces. Beds. This isn't that interesting, is it? Look at what spot is that. That is a nice floral effect. Look, that is 90s in bedding. Do, do, do. Pure 90s pattern, that is. Playboy bunny. Oh, that is very 90s as well. I remember having some bedding like that. Very, very 90s. WWF duvet cover. What have we got? Hulk Hogan. Uh, Legion of Doom. Where's Skinner? Where's Jake the Snake, I think? Where's Brit the Hitman? Oh, we've got Edward Duck. Simpsons. Standard. We've got a hamburger, beanbag, delightful thing. Some rugs. Oh, some crappy ornaments. How much were they? $17.99. I went to an arcade the other week in Great Yarmouth. And these were some of you know, the token things you get. Some of these were prizes in the token machine. I think there was like 100 tokens for one of those Kingfisher things. Not sure if the quality is the same. It looks the same. Sewing machines. This. Oh, here we go. We're getting into some interesting territory. So we've got calculators and spell masters. Ah, uh, organizers. 30 quid almost for a data cow plus. I had one of these. I didn't really know what to do with it. I just wanted it because it was like a mini computer. Five year diary. Typewriters. Oh, electronic typewriters, sort of halfway between a computer and a halfway between a manual typewriter, I should say, and an Amstrad PCW computer, which was halfway between a computer and a typewriter itself. Massive recording answer machines. Oh, look at that desk. That's nice. £89. And a black MDF effect vinyl on top. I'd wear these office chairs. They were, oh, let's have a look at the watches. We've got a talking watch. My mate had one of these. Cockadoodle do. It's 7.30. Look at these. This is when watches, digital watches, started to have all sorts of fancy analog bits and then digital bits down below and all this useless text beside it. Big water resistance bits. Often saying, 50 meters. Like, you know, that's useful for divers, but that's quite a niche audience you're selling to. Super Mario 3 watch. I had one of those. I loved it. I've still got... A Tetris one. Oh, I remember these as well. These were all the rage. Character watches where you had to flip up the lid to see what time it was. They were a pain in the ass. Oh, that's funky. That is very 90s. Both of those two. Chrono Alarm. Oh, we've got jewellery, 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 jewellery. Clocks. There's Bart Simpson. There's a Ferrari F40. Is that just a picture? No, it's a clock. There's a little clock built into it. Off the wall football clock. You could, what could you do with that? Could you chuck it at the wall? Alarm can be stopped normally by bouncing against the floor. Nice. Turtles alarm clock there. Uh, we've got some stuff here. Oh, let's get to some toy action. Baby toys. More baby toys. More baby. Is he alright? You okay, mate? More baby toys. I've got one of those cameras somewhere. Ooh, I used to have like a toy video camera when I was younger. It was awesome. You could record stuff and then we had these toy head stereo Walkman things which had like fake cassettes which £9.99 you could get an MP3 player for about a quid now couldn't you? It's crazy how much things have gone down in price. Probably due to unfavourable working conditions in eastern regions easy to use. Oh, this is before the even pre-computer 2000 came out. The pre-computer 1000 with one line. You could do basic on these things, but with one odd line or two lines in the 2000, it was a bit on the limited side. Dolls, kitchen, exceptional value. Ah, I had this desk, the petty desk, my office desk and chair. I loved it. Apparently I used to keep guinea pigs in the drawers. I used to take them from outside and stuff them in the drawers. Very strange thing to do. Features lift up top with animal accessories. I absolutely love that desk. Had like a lift up flap there and this plastic chair and it was amazing. 
my first typewriter, typewriter with case. Now we're getting to the good shit. Hairy horrors. I've got a lights up thing down there. Uh, Magna Doodle. Telescope. Look at these Technic Lego sets. Quad AT. JCB. Wow, that helicopter. I wanted that helicopter. Chemistry sets. And, oh, this is, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Why is this music system lugged in with the toys? Is this one they think is suitable for children? A MIDI system? £49? Interesting. I had a nice Hitachi model which was quite similar to that. Ultimate joystick, micro switch control, steel shaft. That's better than you get on most computer joysticks. That plus four joystick I was using the other day didn't have a steel shaft. Master System 2. Now this was a section of the catalog I spent a lot of time in as well. Master System 2, look at that. I could just look at that picture for ages and all these games. The Ninja, that was disastrously difficult. Golden Axe, Action Fighter, Sonic. Down here we have the Mega Drive with 16-bit power and that lovely curved control pad. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Game Gear, and they said Game Boy. TV adapter with the standard bicycle, bicycle, super bike picture on it, invoking speed and color. Super Monaco Grand Prix, look at all these games for the Mega Drive. Sonic, that wrestling one, what's that called? It looks like it's got Nicolas Cage on the front. Good God. Shinobi, Operation Wolf, the Sega Master System light gun. So we should have Nintendo on the next page. Yeah, here we go. Rival is the NES control deck, $79.95. How much is that compared to the Master System? $59. More expensive. We have the NES Advantage. We have the Game Boy. Double Dragon, Donkey Kong. The index wasn't too badly priced. It was much better priced than the um, catalogs where you could get credit and pay for things over a year or whatever. £69 for a Game Boy, not bad. I'm a bit sad it hasn't got one of those things you could slap onto the Game Boy with a, a, like a light and a magnifier, all those accessories. But we do have Blooming Commodore 64 for 119 quid. Next to an Amiga. Look how expensive Amigas were back then. This is 1992 and Amigas were still about 400 quid for an Amiga 500, and this was the peak Amiga period. So you can see why Amigas didn't catch on as well as Mega Drives, they were just very expensive. You know, families who wanted a computer and gaming would get one. I had a Commodore 64 at the time, which was much cheaper, but a lot of people were selling these second hand, and they, you could pick up a C64 for like 60 quid. What have we got there? We've got a Megabyte expansion. What is that? Megabyte... Number two. Is that is that a memory expansion? I can't I think it is, isn't it? This plugs into this. No, what is that? It's like, what what is this? Amiga five twenty. Isn't it like? Oh, what? Why is that even there? That doesn't come with the machine, does it? I'm gonna have to look up this. Find out what this is. We've got a mouse. Here we have an Atari ST on the next page, 520 STFM, which was much cheaper, look at that, £269. And I had an Atari ST, and it was not far off an Amiga, we still got the same sort of titles on it. We've got oh, a Commodore printer and a monitor, a 1084S monitor, and yeah, they're still selling the 2600 over here for £39, not much difference to the uh, Master System. We've got the Atari Lynx here, which didn't catch on, even though it was monstrously powerful for its size. I always wanted one of these as well, and my pal too. God knows what it did. Strolled about, you could put this ball through its hoop. Its head moved, maybe. I, I, probably a good job I didn't get one. What's that? Amiga. See, here's an Amiga, half megabyte expansion. £79, this goes in the trap door. That's where the Amiga expansion goes. Ah, oh, I don't know. What we've got over here, we've got Outrun, Grandstand Games, Double Dragon 2, Golden Axe. Very repetitive, but very desirable at the same time. Perfect playground fodder. Board games, Hero Quest. By far the best game on this page. Yeah, definitely. Got Monopoly over here. These things, I had one of these where you could just bat the ball down to the other end of the field using little flippers. Screwball Scramble, classic. Family favourite, WWF travel game there. 
Got some radio control cars. Oh, yes, yeah, this track thing, fast tracks, that could whip around all over the place. The adverts made it look like something made from God's hands. Scare Electric! Ford RS Cosworth set. Beautiful, mighty Metro. Uh, Tomy AFX. I always preferred Tomy AFX. It was a lot smaller, you could fit it in your room. They were a lot faster as well, and they stayed on the track better. Monster Mountain was always something I wanted as well. You could get, there was a period where Kellogg's gave away these monster in your pockets and they showed the mountains on the back and it was wantable. Boglins, still got my Clang Bogling up there, can still see him. WCW, which, oh, it's not, it's no WWF. Do you remember when WCW was always a rival to WWF before WWF bought WCW? Um, it was always like a poor man's WWF, wasn't it? And we had like Lex Luger and Sting and Ric Flair. But never quite the heady heights of WWF. Where is the WWF ring? Not here. Interesting. We've got a spy set. That looks cool as fluff. Garage. Moon boots, which I had, which were worryingly dangerous and ankle-breakingly freaky. Snooker table. Skateboards. Ah, we've got some outdoor play areas. Lovely job. Some bicycles. And the end of the catalogue. Limited edition clearance. What's on clearance? Blue Sound National. There's an alarm. It's a crown stereo. It's a crown personal radio cassette player. And we've got a radio cassette recorder over there. Lamborghini Contash model. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely stuff. What's on offer? Tommy AFX is on offer as well. Space Crusade's on offer. Ah, oh, with the original cover. A heroic battle against alien monsters. Now only 19 quid, and that's only 59.75. Turtle power game. So nostalgic looking back at these old catalogues. Don't miss your sports spectacular of 92. Get a Goodman's VHS recorder. You will not be disappointed. It hasn't got Video Plus, has it? You probably will be disappointed because programs often used to air about 10 minutes late. Without um, Video Plus, the timer was a bit unreliable, especially if there was a power cut. So there we go. There is the Index Spring Summer 1992 catalogue. This is probably my favourite page, so I'll leave you with that and bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. See you soon.